Watch you guys got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at how we can fix copy and paste problems inside Windows 10. Now, if you're having issues uh, using the copy and paste feature and it's not working, then try these steps. So first go to start and then settings, then go to system. Inside system, you should see right down the bottom here, clipboard. And this is your clipboard area. You can clear the data, uh, clipboard data here. You can also make sure that the clipboard is working correctly. If you've got any sort of, uh, some of these settings are hidden and managed by your organization, that means that it's been disabled and it might not work correctly. So you want to make sure that all those uh, permissions are removed on the system. Let's just take a look at another method you can use is right click on the taskbar and go to task manager. And we're looking for the clipboard monitor here. It's called RDB uh, clipboard monitor. So let's have a look and see if we can find it here. And there it is there. And basically what you do is right click on this and end task. And basically once this is end task on this, we can now go up to a uh, file up here, go to run new task and type in here, rdpclip.exe and leave this as uh, create a task with administrative privileges and run this. You will need to restart your system and hopefully that resolves your problem. Now, there has been issues with Windows updates in the past that have broken uh, the clipboard uh, part of Windows 10. And uh, we'll take a look at the next thing you can do. So you can always go to command prompt by typing CMD in the search box and run this as administrator. And what you want to do here is we're going to do the task kill command here to uh, try to kill the task and restart it. So do task kill dot exe and then space forward slash f and then space forward slash i m and then space rdp clip dot exe and then push enter and you can see the process is now being killed and basically that's been terminated so what we want to do next is do rdp clip dot exe and this will then restart it as well you may want to restart your pc as well to just do that hopefully that should resolve your problems once you've restarted so let's take a look at some other things you can try so inside the search box here we're going to type cmd and we're going to run this as administrator command prompt okay so we want to type this command out here we want to do cmd inside here and then space forward slash c inverted commas and then we want to do echo in here and then space off then pipe then we can do clip this should hopefully clear off any sort of history inside your clipboard and hopefully that will resolve your issue sometimes that's been a known issue with windows and by clearing it it does help so next up we're going to go to the search box and type troubleshoot in here and do troubleshoot settings click on this one here now inside here we've got the troubleshoot tab which we can use to run some troubleshooters on the system just in case it's a known issue so go to additional troubleshooters here and you can see there is a, a keyboard one here which might be worth running a check on and to do uh, that check there to make sure that is running okay and you can try some other ones that might be related to that but keyboard is a, a good starting point there now move on down to the search box and do cmd again and run this as administrator and sfc scan now is a, a good thing to run just to make sure the system files are all working correctly and they're not broken or anything like that so just run sfc space forward slash scan now and run a check on your system and it does take a bit of time and hopefully you get a result back saying Windows uh, Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. And if that's okay, you're good to go. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. So hopefully that resolves your copy and paste feature not working or your clipboard not working. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.